put Pisces in the sun, moon, or ascendant position in your character to have a character come off as kind, empathetic, and caring. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about all about Pisces characters. Now, if you missed my previous astrology video, I do recommend watching that first. That's going to give you all the information that you need to know to be ready to watch this video, where we're going to go all through Pisces characters. Do you have any Pisces characters? Let me know down below. I would love to hear about them. Pisces is represented by two fish swimming in opposite directions. And as fish, kind of obviously, the element that Pisces is, is water, and the quality is mutable. Water signs are typically known for their emotions and intuition. And mutable signs are typically seen as welcoming change because they come at the end of one season and the beginning of the next. And this is where Pisces falls, of course. The sun is in Pisces at the end of winter. Typically, this is February 19th to March 20th. Being a mutable sign, Pisces is seen as both friendly and happy. Think of Pisces happiness and welcoming nature as the snow melting in the winter and welcoming spring. This can sometimes cause Pisces to come across as overly trusting or even ditzy, but you can balance out a Pisces sun with other signs and other placements in your characters. Pisces ruling planet is Neptune, and remember Neptune is the planet of fantasy and imagination, so Pisces make fantastic creatives. The key word for Pisces is soft. Put Pisces in the sun, moon, or ascendant position in your character to have a character come off as kind, empathetic, and caring. Remember, what sign the sun is in at the time of someone's birth is their sense of self, what drives them, and their core instincts. But we also learned any planet can be in any sign, so let's talk about those for Pisces. And just like we did for our previous Zodiac video, I'm going to put some characters up that I think could potentially have Pisces in this position so that you kind of have a frame of reference for what I'm talking about. Pisces rising tends to go with the flow. And remember, the rising sign is what we project out onto the world. So think about all of those basics that we just discussed and how they might show when you're projecting them outwardly. Pisces rising people are seen as gentle and peaceful, and this can sometimes make them chameleon-like. Because they're looking to keep the peace, one day they might be shy and quiet, and the next day they might be jubilant and all about the party. Objectivity and decision-making are not the strong point for Pisces Rising. The moon in Pisces shows someone who is dreamy and maybe not always in touch with reality. This placement shows up in people who find it easy to put themselves in someone else's shoes. And like Pisces and other areas, that empathy shows up as well, but because we're talking about the moon, they might feel others' emotions on the inside and not necessarily project that outwards. Since the moon is someone's inner world, someone that has the moon in Pisces might come off as a little bit silly to their peers. They might be the life of the party, or maybe a bit of an oddball that no one really understands but everyone enjoys being around. Next, let's look at our personal planets. You're going to see, of course, the same general themes here, but we're going to apply them to whatever that planet is about. Mercury in Pisces colors someone's communication style as soft. Since Pisces is all about empathy, these people make great listeners. They can soak in others' emotions like a sponge and communicate them right back to them. And because of this, sometimes they might appear wishy-washy. Even if a Mercury in Pisces person has strong beliefs, they might hesitate to communicate them in favor of going with the flow. Venus in Pisces colors someone's love and desire as soft. People with this placement appreciate romance and poetry. They love flirting and see love as something to be given unconditionally. This sometimes puts them in a position to be taken advantage of, but everyone has limits. And pleasing a Venus in Pisces person means allowing them to give of their time and affection. Mars in Pisces is an interesting placement. Mars is the planet of action. So having Mars in Pisces sometimes means that the person's bouts of anger that they do feel are often followed up by a deep sense of guilt. Sometimes Pisces' fluid nature for this placement means that the person will play mind games to get what they want. This can happen even if they don't really know quite what they want. It's very beneficial for people with this placement to take up some kind of artistic or creative hobby to channel any anger or strong emotions they have into. 
Jupiter in Pisces values compassion and charity. They typically have a personal philosophy of peace and a deep faith in the goodness of others. They often believe doing good deeds reaps good rewards. Saturn in Pisces takes their spirituality and religion very seriously and often uses it to solve all sorts of life problems. They appreciate the charity that often comes with religion and that go with the flow nature can sometimes make them favor moral rules as opposed to the codified rules of their particular religion. And those are our personal planets. Now we're going to move, of course, to the outer planets. And remember, those are more generational, not individual. Uranus in Pisces is a time of great imagination. Escapism of all kinds are popular with this placement. Pisces empathy also makes it a great time for service to others. They might also break traditions that don't serve others. The last time Uranus was in Pisces was from December 2003 to March 2011. Neptune in Pisces loves to make big plans, but can sometimes lack the discipline to actually follow through with them. Neptune is Pisces' ruling planet, so this is where all of the nature of Pisces is best expressed. That means Pisces is incredibly empathetic in Neptune and is also very go with the flow. Coincidentally, Neptune is currently in Pisces. This started in April 2011 and will continue until March 2025. Pluto in Pisces signifies a great surge in artistic imagination, empathetic political movements, and other transformations towards the kinder and softer parts of life. The last time Pluto was in Pisces was from 1799 to 1823. So that's how all of the planets react when they're in Pisces, and just like the Aquarius video, I really barely touched on some of this stuff, so if you found any of this inspiring, I highly recommend some further reading, and I've left my favorite astrology websites down in the description below so that you have a place to get started. So what did you think? Do you have any Pisces characters? Are you considering making any Pisces characters? Let me know all about them down below. And don't forget to make it a great day.